Hello, I'm Fred DeSam Lazaro, a correspondent with the PBS NewsHour and director of the Undertold Stories Project at St. Mary's University in Minnesota. I'm one of the journalists collaborating with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting and covering the story of wheat rust. This is a fungal infection that's been around for millennia, affecting the wheat plants around the world. It was thought to have been brought under control in the 1950s by Norman Borlaug, the Nobel laureate, who developed new hybrids that were able to resist wheat rust infestation. But this rust organism continued to mutate, and in 1999 in Uganda, it came back to life as virulent as ever, and the tests show that this UG99 variety of wheat rust is now able to essentially destroy 80% of the wheat varieties around the world. This is critical, this is a staple food for billions of people around the world, and if this wheat rust continues to spread unabated, it could spell devastation. What are people doing? I'm standing at the University of Minnesota's Agriculture School, which is one of the facilities that is working with hybrids, that is working with genetic modification, trying to create new varieties of wheat that are able to resist this fungal infection, UG99. It's a critical story in as much as uh, almost two billion people uh, depend on wheat as, as a staple or as a very important crop. We'll be following it hopefully into the future and reporting on progress. At the moment, there are in fact varieties that have been developed that are resistant to UG99, but that's only part of the problem solved because once you develop resistant varieties, you then have to develop mechanisms by which these new varieties can be distributed to, to farmers. And before that, it needs to be manufactured. The seeds need to be manufactured. The seeds then need to be distributed to farmers in far-flung regions, often where infrastructure isn't as readily available or, or doesn't allow for expedient distribution. So there are a number of logistical hurdles as well, and political hurdles in some cases. This uh, is an important story, even as it is a difficult one to, to report, especially on television. This is a story about plants growing. It's not a fast-moving one, but it is a critical one. We'll be following the progress of scientists around the world as they try and, and get wheat resistant to UG99 out to the farmers and hope you'll keep engaged with this story as we uh, move forward in the months and the years ahead. Thanks.